A lot of folks ask, where does bacteria come from? An easy way to put it is, if it has hair, fur, or feathers, it's typically contributing to bacteria loading on the beaches. For over 20 years, the Texas General Land Office has been notifying the public on the latest water quality conditions. We have people that come in from Dallas, we got people coming from Austin, wanting to know the water quality of the beach. Texas Beach Watch samples at 172 sites across the coast from Boca Chica to Seaburn State Park. The purpose of the sampling program is to provide near real-time notification to public stakeholders and beach users so they can be aware of water quality conditions. Part of my job is making sure that the public is informed of the latest water quality conditions. We have over five contractors that the Texas General Land Office works with where we collect and analyze water samples. The Texas Beach Watch program is important for beach users because we test for a particular type of bacteria called Enterococcus. Enterococcus is known as a fecal indicator bacteria. This bacteria is an umbrella bacteria. If that's in the water, other pathogens are also in the water. When water quality conditions exceed acceptable levels, beach advisories are posted at each location. You can see these by either visiting texasbeachwatch.com or look for our signs located at each access point. My mornings and when I come in the mornings to start my day off, I get all my supplies ready, make sure that my uh, truck is full of gas, getting ready to head out to go and collect my samples. Well, I'll go ahead and get in the water and go in about two feet of water and collect the sample. Samples are collected by going down, knee deep, coming back up. Once all 10 sites are collected, we bring them back to the lab, get them ready to get them processed and uh, put them in the incubator for 24 hours. After 24 hours is up, then we'll go ahead and take them out and put them under a UV light to determine if there's a prison of bacteria in those samples. Monitoring sites are collected up to seven to 9,000 times each year, depending on water quality. Through our website, we are actually notifying the public if bacteria levels are safe or if there is an advisory in place. Uh, this helps folks who may be immunocompromised or have small children or the elderly that are visiting the beach to make informed decisions as to which beach they'd like to go to as they plan their trips. And I just tell them, you know, the water quality around here has been good. Uh, if you want to keep an eye an idea of it, just get on the Texas Beach Watch uh, website and give you an idea of the quality of the water. When we think about the area of the coastal zone, we're dealing with millions of acres, and the land use in this area can sometimes bring stormwater contaminants down through our bays and estuaries into our beaches. Once the bacteria levels have been documented, we'll go ahead and note on the Texas Beach Watch website, if levels exceed the uh, mean of 104, then we'll go ahead and head back up to that site, then we'll lower down the Beach Watch sign, which indicates that this area has an advisory for bacteria, high bacteria count. The sign stays down until the, the, the samples come back normal. Each of us has a role to play. We have to respect the beach and do our part every day. For the latest water quality conditions, visit texasbeachwatch.com where you can sign up to receive notifications and get the latest results straight to your email.